So let's first tell you what is Juhi Chavla's petition all about. Well, she moved to the Delhi High Court saying that no person will be able to avoid exposure 24 hours a day, 365 days in a year. And the levels of radiation coming out of 5G are 100 times greater than what already exists today. Her petition also says that this will threaten to provoke serious, irreversible impact on humankind, permanent damage as well to all on Earth and the ecosystem. The plea currently being heard by the High Court. But before we get into that, if that's still sub judice, let's tell you what exactly is 5G. The latest network of wireless technology, 5G, stands for fifth generation, said to be the fastest, the most advanced network out there. 5G really is the future, as they say. And at a time when the world revolves around data, cloud computing, working from home, school from home, who doesn't want fast internet, really? So, this, it gets really this fast by producing electromagnetic radiation. It's said to be a game changer because of the sheer speed of transfer, download it provides, and thus, the frequency it uses is also much higher. To put it simply, it is said to be revolutionary because, look at this example, to download a two-hour movie, a 3G network would take about 36 hours, a 4G network would take about six minutes, and guess how much 5G will take? 3.6 seconds. And this entire journey from 1G to 5G has happened in a phenomenal time. Let's also sort of jog your memory on that. Remember, five, remember 1G, in fact, let's begin with that. The first analog cell phone to enter the world. This is what it looked like back then in the days. Then came 2G. New features like SMS, voicemail came on our mobile handsets. Then came 3G, higher data transfer rates, web browsing, image sharing, the much talked about and the controversial GPS location tracking as well. And then came 4G, we're all on it right now. Broadband delivery, deep web functioning, all got into our smart form. It really became our life. And now we're all set to get into a 5G mode, the fifth generation of wireless technology. But users will know this as the claims at the moment are it's the fastest, most robust technology that the world has ever seen. This means quicker downloads, much lower lag, significant impact on how we live, work, play. The connectivity benefits of 5G are expected to make businesses more efficient, give consumers access to more information faster than ever before. Connecting cars, smart communities, industrial IoT, we'll get into that in the program as well. All of this and our lives are set to revolve around 5G network of the future. But then, what is the status of it here in the country? Well, it's not yet rolled out in India, but Airtel, Reliance, Geo, Vodafone, Idea, they've all been given trial spectrum, really, and the network is expected to go live by the end of this year, by the end of 2021. So if this is really such a big game changer, what are the concerns? The thing to remember here is this is not the first time these kind of concerns around 5G technology have actually come up. The arguments against them have emerged time and again in several parts of the world. And a whole community of scientists have debated against the technology's implementation, citing it as a health hazard for many. However, there is very limited research on frequencies used in 5G. Basically, the claim is that the mobile phone uses a frequency of 1.8 to 2.2 uh, gigahertz that can cause tissue heating. Tissue heating, what is that? That's electromagnetic energy causing slight rise in the temperature that can impact your brain, it can impact your body as well. In a 2018 study done by a US national toxicology program, they found clear evidence that two years of exposure of radio frequency radiation from cell phones increased cancer. But this was done on male rats and damaged the DNA in rats and mice of both the sexes as well. There was another study done by the International Agency of Research on Cancer in 2011. This time 30 scientists from 14 different countries got together and they concluded that electromagnetic uh, energy fields are possibly carcinogenic to humans. 
So this is what study is saying. Let's go by what WHO has to say. Well, WHO on their website on the issue of exposure to 5G currently says that infrastructures that are around 3.5 gigahertz is similar from already existing mobile phone base stations. With the use of multiple beams from 5G antennas, exposure could be more variable as a function of location of users and their usage as well. Given that 5G technology is currently in an early stage of deployment, the extent of a change in exposure is also being looked into by WHO. It goes on to say that until now, no adverse health effect linked with exposure to wireless technologies has been found. As frequencies increase, there is less penetration into the body tissues and absorption of the energy becomes actually confined to only the surface of the body, only your skin and eye. All this is, remember, WHO saying, provided that the overall exposure remains below the international guidelines, no consequence for public health is actually anticipated. But having said that, WHO also says that they are currently conducting a health risk assessment from exposure to all sorts of radio frequencies. The entire range which includes 5G but that study, we'll have to wait for that until the end of 2022. 